what international influences within the field of landscape architecture do you think have had the biggest impact on British landscape architecture? Well, sadly, in my working career, which has been in landscape architecture for 40 or more years, it's been rather a disappointing time for British landscape architecture. I hope it's coming to an end. And we've kept alive by drawing ideas from around the world, and I'm very happy about that. When, when I was a student, the, um, the biggest source, which continues very important, was Ian McHarg's book, Design with Nature. And the whole philosophy of it was wonderful, and continues to be. He was a Scotsman who he left Scotland because they tried to design Cumbernauld New Town on a site which he regarded as completely unsuitable. It was a hilltop in a very windy, cold part of the western Scotland. And he said it's ridiculous. And the architects wanted to make an Italian hill town. They hadn't twigged that the climate in Scotland. A bit. Anyway, he went to America and wrote this wonderful book, um, Design with Nature. So that's been a great thing. What he advocated was a layered ecological approach to landscape design. The difficulty with it was it was scientific, too scientific for a design profession, and too deterministic. And so, it didn't quite achieve its potential, but it became connected with what the, what's now classified as post-structuralism. And it came about through the um, Parc La Villette competition of what, 1968, which introduced a different sort of layering. And the competition was in France. The, 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 the people who came first and second were a Dutchman, Rem Koolhaas, an architect, and, and a Swiss French architect, Bernard Tumi. I'm, I'm quite happy to include within landscape architecture the work of architects, engineers and everybody else, providing they're engaged with composing the five elements. So there's the, my first two answers. It's um, McHarg and then um, Koolhaas and Tumi. And for a third valuable contribution, the movement which is now called landscape urbanism coming from the Harvard, with AA in London and the Harvard Graduate School of Design, most associated with James Corner and Charles Waldheim. And what they've done, the way I see it, is to integrate the ecological layers that interested Ian McHarg with what I would call cultural or social layers coming from anthropology and art, and cinema, anywhere else. And Bringing those two together is very fruitful, which is what landscape urbanism, in my understanding, is trying to do. So there's three theoretical influences from abroad which you see in projects and about which I'm optimistic.